Hi guys, it's me Zena and when I am here, I guarantee your full fun. So, what, what are we going to do today? Well, we'll do an experiment together. So what is that experiment? You know, we'll do an experiment with these tea bags. Can you even imagine? How can we do an experiment with these tea bags? Well, if you don't know, then I'll show you. So what are we making today is we are making some tea bag ghosts. Are you ready for it? Okay, so I'll tell you the materials for it. You need two to three tea bags or you can use one as well. I'm using two tea bags over here. Then you need scissors, a matchbox and any sketch pen or a pen, anything like that. I hope you guys are ready. Now let's start. So our first step is to remove this thread and loosen out the pin. So I'm going to do it with the help of scissors. I'll just remove this pin from the tea bag. So I've removed the pin from the tea bag. And now I'll just pour out the tea leaves from the tea bag into a plate or a container. And you can use this tea leaves or tea in something else like this. These tea leaves make a very good garden compost. So you can use that as well. So I have this empty tea bag and what I'll do is I'll make a hollow in it with the help of scissors. You don't have to cut it, just make a hollow like this. Okay, now I'll keep it aside and I'll do the same thing with the other tea bag. I have another empty tea bag. I'll again make a hollow in it and we'll keep it aside. Okay, so I have these tea bags over here these two tea bags now what I'll do is I'll draw something on these tea bags so what I'm gonna make is I'll make a face on this tea bag not a beautiful one but a scary one Can you see it? Ha ha ha. Does it scare you? Well, it scares me. I'll use another sketch pen to draw another face on this tea bag. So what gonna what I will draw on it? Let me draw a smiley face. Just like me. A smiley face now what I'll do is I'll again hollow out the tea bag and put it straight on the floor so guys uh, some in, uh, instructions for you that wherever you're putting your tea bags there should be no fabric around, like no curtains, nothing, no bed sheets, nothing. And the uh, floor or the surface we are using should not be wooden, okay? Because we are gonna do something with the fire and we don't want you to get hurt, right? And it's better for your parents to light up your tea bags. Now I have two tea bags over here. What I'm going to do is, I light them from the top. Make sure you have switched off your fan. I have switched off my fan. Now I'm going to light it. And you have to light it from the top only. Make sure they don't. As you can see, they will fly off. Wow. 
isn't it interesting and after some time it will come down as well like see the ashes of the tea bag oh we have burned the tea bag ghost so was it fun for you so guys as we all know i'll tell you uh, first of all i'll tell you the explanation behind this so what is the explanation behind it is very simple we know that burning makes the air lighter right when we burn air it became becomes lighter so when we burn this tea bag the air inside the tea bag uh, uh, it has air in the hollow right so it has air and it become lighter because of the burning right when we burn the tea bag the air become lighter and this air carried away the tea bag with itself okay because we know that hot air rises up and that hot air took the tea bag with itself and rised up but when it cooled down the tea bag came down on the surface i hope you guys understood the concept and i hope you guys like the totally fun experiment right